Hi, Joel Phillips here again, CEO, founder of ProShark and director of technology at Strategic Advisor Board. This is the second version of Tech Tip. And what we do is we provide inside information. We answer questions uh, that come to us regarding marketing, digital footprint, digital questions that people have. And, and we try to provide insight and valuable information or information that's valuable to you. So we depend on your questions. Um, to send in a question, we're happy to answer whatever we can. If we can't, we'll try and find the answer for you. Send your questions to techtip at proshark.com. That's T-E-C-H-T-I-P at proshark.com. So today we're gonna to continue talking about your website and website optimization. The question we had posed was, what, do I need to have my website optimized or do I need to get a new website? So the, it's a difficult question. We discussed yesterday core web vitals and how Google sees your site. So I wanted to, today I wanna to show you what they look at, how they look at it, and some of the things that we can do to make a difference maybe you don't need a new site to rank well in Google. And that's, if we can avoid the extra cost of doing that, then that's something that we want to do. So I'm going to show you a couple of examples, both before and after, and we'll take a look at that. And then if you have any questions, be sure and send them to us. Again, that's tech tip at proshark.com. So let's go in, let's just dive right in and take a look. So what I'm going to show you now is what Google, how Google actually sees your site. And you're going to be maybe a little bit surprised at what they see. So that's not it. That's not what we want. So let's go find what we want. There we go. PageSpeed.web.dev actually belongs to Google. And this is what they view your site as from a performance perspective. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to just take a couple of Shopify sites and we're going to go to Shopify. This is actually on Shopify. These are some of the sites that they feature on their home page. So let's just go down, take the first one. Tweet Denim. Okay, so we'll just grab this URL, control C, and we'll go right back to the Google Page Speed Insights. We will post that in and we'll analyze it. Okay, we see that they'd look at, and these are the core web vitals right here. And you can see core web vitals assessment. This site passes. It's got a largest contentful paint in the green, first input delay in the green, cumulative layout in the green, first contentful paint in the green. And if you wanna know more about them, you can just click on it and it'll give you all the definitions. But one thing I wanna show you here is the performance. The performance is not good. And what this means is that you're going to get penalized for anything under 50. Typically, it's going to be closer to 65, which is the mid-range of this score right here in the yellow that you can see. But here's the problem we have. This site, the first contentful paint, you can see the progress down here of how it loads up. But the first contentful paints in 3.2 seconds, and you see that's in red. And what that means that it takes before you see anything is 3.2 seconds. Typically a mobile user, a mobile viewer for your site will abandon your site if it doesn't start to load or if they don't see activity within three seconds. Um, we're just an impatient crowd. That's all there is. The time to interactive on this site, and remember this is the number one feature site on Shopify, 18.6 seconds to interactive. That's really slow. And if you notice right here, 18.6 seconds to interactive means how soon can I interact with that site? And that's actually a pretty slow load time. So let's go back to Shopify because I want to make sure we don't hit an anomaly. Uh, Naja, well, we'll keep this PG just in case. Um, okay, let's take a look at Tentry. So Tentry... Uh, let's get to their home page. Okay, looks like clothing shopping site. So control C. We'll get back to page feed insights. And we'll load it up. 
and analyze. So again, we're looking at um, some of the initial metrics that come up. This failed the Core Web Vitals assessment. Remember, this is a site that is featured on Spotify. Uh, Google does not favor the site and it will be penalized because it, number one passes or does not pass their Core Web Vital assessment. But uh, let's take a look at some of these like largest contentful paint. And that's the biggest image, basically. Their performance is 23. Um, you've got some of these hitting the green, some in the yellow but a couple in the red, and that's not good. 4.2 seconds, they're losing a significant amount of traffic just for abandonment because they don't load fast enough. And this again, this is on mobile. You have a desktop view. They don't perform too well in the desktop view either. So uh, heading back to mobile, one thing that we can do is we can adjust all of the metrics on the site. We can take a site that exists. If you don't want to invest in creating a brand new site, that's with got the latest technology that's got new layouts and such. Maybe you've got a site that is truly functioning. Maybe you've got a site that um, is marginal. Then we take a look and we're going to split this up into two because we're going a little bit long today. But uh, I do want to show you one site that we did an optimization on. This is also a Shopify site. Um, let's take a look at Chelsea King. Oh, it's dot shop. And let's analyze this. This is one that we did work on. And this is what happens when you do an optimization to a site. So remember, if you remember, the others were in the low 20s from a performance perspective. Now, when Google takes a look at this site, it is going to probably come in around the 80s. Yeah, 81. There we go. So we still have room to improve on this, but 81 is far better than um, than in the 20s from a load perspective. If you notice, we have our first contentful paint in 2.2 seconds. That means we are grabbing the attention of somebody who is browsing the site on mobile. We are grabbing their attention. We're starting to load in 2.2 seconds. The magic threshold number is three seconds. So we went way over. We'll continue this again tomorrow. I appreciate your time and thank you for watching. Again, if you have any questions, please send them into techtip at proshark.com. Thanks a lot. Bye.